President Donald Trump's top allies are publicly celebrating the implosion of the Russia scandal after special counsel Robert Mueller cleared the president of all allegations. Mueller's report to Attorney General Bill Barr indicates no collusion between Trump's campaign and the Russians in 2016 and no evidence that Trump obstructed justice. I've been sitting here watching CNN and MSNBC all day long and there's been so much water in the eyes of these anchors that two things could only be going on, they've either been crying before they go on air or they're all lighting up fat joints before they go on air but I don't think I've ever seen so many watery eyes on CNN and MSNBC. Andy Sarabian, a former White House official who also ran the 2016 campaign War Room, said on Breitbart News Sunday on Sirius 125 The Patriot Channel on Sunday evening. For the last two years, what we've witnessed is the biggest conspiracy theory in the history of the United States government propagated by rogue elements of the United States government, a political party in the Democrat Party, and the entire mainstream media from the Washington Post to BuzzFeed to MSNBC and all the rest they've all been in lockstep pushing this conspiracy theory, Sarabian added. There's never been any basis for it. Of course, the Christopher Steele memo dossier which was supposedly the basis for this whole charade, we know that now, to be full of crock. That was nothing more than a crock, and that's how this whole thing started. And so the media, the Democrat Party, the deep state as some call it they were the ones colluding. They colluded together to perpetrate this conspiracy on the American people. And now that Mueller and his group of 18 Democrats are finally done and they couldn't find anything to pin on this president, they couldn't find anything to pin on Donald Trump Jr. They couldn't find anything to pin on the president's campaign. They couldn't even find anything close to collusion, to pin on anyone close to the campaign not even any informal advisors that they could find anything on collusion on. After two years of these conspiracy theories falling flat, are any of these people going to apologize? Is Rachel Maddow going to go on TV tomorrow and apologize to her viewers for misleading them?